We humans have coexisted with the stars for many thousands of years. Stars represent life and death. They preside over the cycles of the universe and give birth to the elements of life. People have looked to the night skies with awe and wonder from time immemorial. But a catastrophe stopped these same stars. Relayers, those who seek the inevitable end of the universe according to its laws, and the star children who resist them. This is their story. Twenty forty nine. A portion of the Earth loses gravity, causing grave destruction. People, vehicles, and shattered buildings suddenly fell upward into space. It was a disaster unparalleled in all of human history. The city was destroyed in this tragic event. Many lives were lost. The disaster came to be known as the Gravity Loss Event. The Gravity Technology Development Organization, known as GT Labs, determined that relayers were responsible. However, mankind lacked the tools to fight back. That truth was sure to send the people of Earth into a panic. The United Earth Government in Japan made the decision to conceal the true nature of the catastrophe, instead calling it a meteor strike. Meanwhile, in order to protect Earth from the impending threat, GT Labs, under the leadership of humanity's first star child, Himiko, began to accelerate development of anti-relayer weaponry known as Stellar Gear, as well as the identification of other star children in possession of the will of the stars. 2051. Our story, the story of the star children, begins on the lunar surface, in a colony known as Artemis. Two years to the day. No wonder, I guess. It's been two years since I lost Luna. 
and my memory. I have been living an aimless existence ever since. Somehow, I ended up on the lunar colony Artemis. Good morning, Master Terra. You appear distressed. Was it the usual dream? Good morning, Yoraka. Guess you didn't think to shake me out of it. I do apologize. You woke up of your own accord before I was able to make a decision. I thought that I had let go and moved on. But I guess it's not that easy. Well, where should we go next? Pardon me for being presumptuous, but I assume this journey to be part of your grieving process. Accordingly, I recommend Mars. Don't be so quick to assume. Wait, why Mars? Nearly everywhere we have been to date has been a place that you mentioned your sister wanted to visit. Mars is also on that list, hence the recommendation. Furthermore, non-terrestrial environments greatly stimulate my intellect. Hmm, I guess. I'm already on the moon. We might as well see some out-of-the-way places while we're here. Hmm. Die, humans. <laughs> what is the matter, Master Terra? That light... No way. It, it can't be. Oh, God. If you really do exist out there, please. I beg you. Please let everything from here on out. Just be a dream. Then open your eyes. <laughs> what the? Himiko. Himiko? Star Child. The first star. Himiko. That's my name. I've come to find you, Terra. If you want to seek the truth, then I need your power as the Star Child of Earth. 2051. I met Himiko in a land devoid of gravity. What the? Corporal Max! What's happening? Are we under attack? Hmm. Guess they still want to live. Answer me! Who are you with? Who the hell are you? I'm a star child. A star child? I'm the star child. Of the moon. Bringer of death. To humanity. A, a dark gear? No way. What is that doing here? Dark gear. So that's what this is called. I'm relieved to see you in one piece, First Star. I'm sorry not to see you in pieces, masked man. 
Just to confirm, is that girl the one you've been looking for? That's right. She's the star child who possesses the will of Earth. Terra. They call me Observer. I've been sent by the United Earth Government to observe the GT Lab's experimental supergravity vessel. I sustained a terrible wound to my face long ago. Ever since, I've worn a mask so as not to upset people. Hey! This is no time for leisurely introductions. Those are relayers, aren't they? Looks that way. Relayers are the only ones in the whole universe who can cause gravity loss. What's your star saying? My star is saying they're relayers too. Then it must so. Uh... Um... What's a... Relayer? Relayers are disciples of dark energy who hold the fate of the universe in their hands. They have one goal. To extinguish all life by accelerating the expansion of the universe. They're the ones who hit Artemis with the gravity loss disaster a moment ago. What? And that's why the stars willed us star children into existence. We are the only ones who can stop their plan and save the universe. Maybe you haven't noticed yet, but there's a star will of the earth deep inside your heart the earth's will is inside my heart observer i'll leave terra to you there's no way a military quasar can handle relayers i'll head out in the stellar gear that's right your stellar gear is here in this lab but do you think you'll be safe out there of course Nothing else. I've got sheer luck on my side. Star children are meant to fight relayers. <sighs> I've been to so many countries and various places. And it's true everywhere that no life is easily saved. If you would, Nuraka. A question, if I may. What prompted you to make this decision? If I sat around and did nothing, when I had the ability to help, I'd never forgive myself. I'm tired of having regrets. I've been through two of these awful gravity loss events now. I don't ever want one to happen again. That's all. I find it difficult to understand willingly exposing oneself to danger. Yet, I wouldn't expect any less from you. Hey, you two. What you talking? We're here. Is that Astoria? I thought it fell and burned up in the atmosphere after fighting a Dark Gear two years ago. So it survived its crash landing and been in her hands the whole time? What a stroke of luck. Please don't try to do too much. Dying won't help anyone. I know that. I swore I'd live on in Luna's memory. I have no intention of dying here.
Master Terra, please allow me to handle the controls and status monitoring. Wow. You can do all that? I excel at it, in fact. Before you salvaged me from the scrapyard, I was a space probe AI. Why didn't you ever tell me? You never saw fit to ask me. You can be sure we'll have a nice long talk once this battle is over. Understood. I'll do my best to ensure we survive to have that talk. Astoria. Ready to blaze trails. The way ahead is too dark. Allow me to light your path. Out of the way! Hit me! Let's raise me! All right. Who do I kill first? It looks like this one is different. From a dark year. It appears to be an ordinary quasar. However, as it's a command gear, we'd best be careful. <laughs> this is one of those fancy new GT Labs quasars. Well, 
Let's see what their new toy is made of. End of the line! Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Commencing repairs! Who wants to die? You're finished! I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Not bad! Who wants to die? I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Now clear the way! A direct hit! On me? Yes, we did it! We leveled up. No way! Oops. <laughs> Did I do that? Guess some of these GT Labs guys know what they're doing. What is the matter, Master Terra? I'd recognize my own little sister anywhere. That's you, isn't it, Luna? Is that my sister piloting that gear? What are the odds? I'm so glad you're alive! But... Why are you in that? What's that? You've got a lot of nerve. You're the one who let me go. And why are you talking like a creep? Uh, Luna? Come on, sis. Don't you think it's a bad idea to open your cockpit in the middle of a fight? What? Luna, please. Why are you doing this? Like you don't know. As if you had nothing to do with it. But if you have to know, I guess you could say I'm a bad star child. That's what I said. See you later, sis. Damn. Are you alright, Master Terra? Thanks for saving me, but I'm not even sure if I wanted you to close the hatch like that. Your safety is my primary concern. As the enemy pilot said, exposing yourself in a fight like that is exceedingly dangerous. See you some other time, sis. Wait, Luna! Please don't go! Reinforcements? There's no way I can handle all of them. Sorry for the holdup, Terra. First star Himiko to the rescue. Watch and learn. <laughs> Sorry to ask so much, but we still need your help. At least you'll get a front row seat to see me in action. Roger that. I can't stop thinking about Luna. But I need to focus on these enemies. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Commencing repairs! Let's do it! Commencing operation. You can't- 
cannot hide. What brave me? Moving out. I'll provide support. Delegir Astoria. Ready to blaze trails. Stars ready to shine. Got it. Impossible. No nearby enemy readings. It looks as though we made it through. <sighs> Great work, Yadaka. You too, Himiko. First. Allow me to thank you. We were able to keep damage to a minimum thanks to your help. I'm still shocked the relayers would target GT Labs directly. But why the Moon Lab and not the HQ Lab? Um, go. There's something I'd like to tell you. The sister you thought was dead is in cahoots with the Relayers? We barely spoke, but there's no mistake. It was my sister, Una. A human helping the Relayers? I just don't get it. You're sure she called herself a Star Child? Yes. She said she was a bad Star Child. Do you have any idea where she went? Uh, yeah, she headed for that building over. <gasps> oh no! They're going after the original one! Now I know why they specifically chose to attack this base. I'm sorry, Terra, but I have to go after her. Uh, I'll go with you. Yuraka, please ready our gears. Yes, Master Terra. Please be careful. <sighs> Good. The original one's okay. So this red gear... is the original one. Oh. You got here sooner than I expected. Observer? What are you doing here? Actually, forget about that for now. Was someone else in here? Did you see a girl? Slightly younger than me. With pigtails? As a matter of fact, I did. She's right over there. What? The girl you described. <laughs> Sounds a lot like me. Let's go, original one. We're too good for this damn old dungeon. The original one is moving! Rejoice. After 100 million years, the key has been released from its eternal slumber.
not good. She's about to get away with my original one. Himiko, let's hurry outside. Yudaka should be able to slow her down. That's my sister's gear. Dilemma, dilemma. It appears as though this is the original one. In which case, I have but one option. Yodaka can pilot a gear? Simple maneuvering might be more accurate. You might want to get in your gear too. We won't be able to hold her for long. I'm on it. The genuine and the forgery. Sister and sister. Earth and moon. What fortune to witness such drama. I'm here, Yudaka. Glad to see you're safe, Master Terra. Was your sister piloting that gear? Yes. I'm not sure why, but... It looks like she was after that red gear all along. Well, that was quite a bold entrance... for a thief. We have to stop her. I don't quite understand why myself. Something just tells me we can't let her succeed. But... what can I do? <laughs> Not to worry. Did you forget that you have the first star here? Sit back and enjoy the ride. The smell. No mistaking it. It's been so long since I've smelled starlight. Looks like that red gear has a collaborator in it. That's right, Walker. I stole off with the original one. No problem. Does your presence here mean you've finished your meal? I devoured every quasar here. But I'm still starving. Such tiny morsels could never satisfy my hunger. Well, don't presume you can have mine. Do I want the white one? The blue one? <laughs> Doesn't really matter. The light-colored one is mine. No one else can have it. Unacceptable. Our mission is to procure that gear. Dark Knight has instructed us to return as soon as we do so. No. I'm going to kill that one. That's the whole reason I've held on this long. I repeat. Our mission is to take that gear intact. You will face the wrath of Dark Knight if you do not obey us. The key is not the only way to open the cage. Fine then. We won't let her get away. Let's go, Terra. Got it. I don't think so. I intend to eat you, stars.